What's up everybody, ODC here, and I'm back to another action figure review. Today's review, we're going to take a look at the G.I. Joe Classifieds Rock and Roll action figure. Um, this is one I was really looking forward to. Um, I just think this is an overall really well done action figure. I think this is one of the Classifieds best right here. And I like the little bit of an update. For some reason, a lot of people don't like the up, the mo more modern update look. But then I, I see the same people that are complaining about it not looking like the vintage. Then complaining that there's not enough modern. So I don't know. I don't know. But, but the, the bipolarism that is the fandom of G.I. Joe continues, ladies and gentlemen. Um, moving on. Here's the packaging. Really cool stuff. Nice fact that we can't see the figure you know thank god that's going away next year um here's more mocked up images of the figure their, their packaging's trash i'm just gonna get it out of here okay moving on to the story at hand which is the actual action figure um he comes with a a pretty decent amount of accessories i want to say for the most part we've got the rock and roll hand which is an awesome touch kudos to whoever thought that up i don't know who did it design team good job on you um but this is a really well done action figure it's well thought out well planned and well executed overall it comes with a radio that's removable you can put it on this side or you can put it on this side of his belt right there um the helmet is removable there's the head sculpt underneath the head the underneath the head underneath the helmet Excuse me. Let's get that hand out of the way. Really well done head sculpt. Really liking this quite a bit. Let me get my stupid face out of the way. <laughs> my head was completely, there you go. Blocking, not blocking. Blocking, not blocking. Oh, man. Got to get used to this uh, new lighting situation. But uh, the head sculpt looks really, really good. Very pleased with how this turned out. Um, he looks a little bit shocked, but I, I, I think it looks great. They did a really good job on the paint shading in the actual beard itself, too. The hair shading continues all the way around. Pardon his gun. All the way around. I mean, this is one of their best head sculpts, I think. Um, I want to say between this spirit... Um, Duke's head sculpt really good. I, re I still love Duke's head sculpt. It's a very well done head sculpt. Uh, Outback and Rakondo are probably some of the favorites of mine. Uh, that movie Scarlet is still an awesome figure. Don't care about the haters. The movie Scarlet figure is one of the best. Anyway, moving on, he comes with this um, ammo belt. Which is right here. It's a little fuzzy on camera because he's taking up all the, the show time here looks good it's just a kind of a plasticky tan color with a little bit of brown painting for the actual bolts themselves sorry about the, the glare there or the blur excuse me here are the extra hands extra hands look pretty good Little tattoo on the on the uh, front of the hand, and he's got a trigger hand here for the left side, and a fist hand. So, this is stuff that we've been asking for. That's just the bare minimum that Hasbro needs to do for the future of the classifieds line. Um, he comes with the rock and roll hand, right there. Looks really good. If we can focus this century, looks really good. Tattoos for the most part, I mean, I've seen better from Mattel with the WWE line, but they've also been doing tattoos a lot longer. This is, it's it's fair. It, it, it's fair. On the other side, a little weird that the tattoo does kind of end on the elbow. That's a little odd, but maybe the tattoo ends here and there begins a new one. I, who the hell knows? I don't know. But... Pretty well done for the tattoos overall, I would say. 
Uh, I love the continuation of them using this. We've seen this in the Rise of Cobra line with Bench Press, which is rock and roll. I don't know why they renamed him Bench Press. Stupid. Just another stupid idea that, you know, whatever. Um, but uh, Rock and Roll's got the ammo belt around the wrist. I love it. Nice little wrist ammo belt gauntlet. We've got the cross draw ammo belt right here. And these are kind of kind of glued together, but they do fin uh, fit around the torso. You can remove these. I'm not going to. I feel like that's a completely unnecessary thing to do. He does come with his M60, which is his weapon of choice. Does have a bipod on it, the front. You can kind of spread that out. This is one of the better, I want to say better weaponry that they've done as far as getting closer to real stuff. Uh, real steel look um, so pretty good on them we've got the box here for the ammo I'm not gonna go with the belt fed I'm gonna go with the box fed uh, it's just a little bit easier for posability maneuverability stuff like that um, so that makes sense for me the bipod can go up just like that you can hide it away if you want to but very nicely done it's pretty much just a black plastic. These are green plastics for the bipod. And then we've got a little bit of paint work here for the belt fed ammo going into the chamber of the um, at the top of the, the, the uh, blah, 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 top of the S. Oh my God, I can't talk. A top of the gun. Anyway, but looks pretty good here. There's also a peg here. For if you want to fit that onto his belt, you can. That's pretty much what we have as far as that goes. Um, he also comes with a pistol. There's his sidearm. So a lot of people don't like this, but this is actually very close to, um, I believe, what the... I want to say the original rock and roll came with. I never had an original rock and roll, so I don't know. I've always had version two, but it fits in his hand. He can point it. He can look down the sights. No issue. Here's looking at you, kid. You know, let's get the rock and roll hand out of there and we'll put in, oh, and this is also removable. So if you want to take that off, you can, if you don't like it. I'm not sure why you would want to do something like that, but you can. So if you want to have him being ridiculous, which is something that uh, rock and roll would never be accused of. Um, you could take this out, which technically I don't think he would have in this hand, but to make my life easier, we're gonna put this gun in this hand and this gun in this hand, just cause the, and then you could really have him going 80s gung ho, no pun intended there. You could have him. I think the really only the only thing missing out of this figure would be a screaming head. If this came with a screaming head, I feel like it would be perfect. But you could have him going super eighties crazy mode and firing a pistol while shooting an M60. I mean, why the hell not? If you do want to have him talking into his radio while firing his M60. You can also do that while no looking. <laughs> this is why I really think if there's a customizer out there, come on, man, give us a screaming head for good old rock and roll here. He could use one. He really could. I also like the, uh, the kind of like little wristband he's got here on his uh, other side there. But, you know, you could have him talking to the radio. Like I said, the radio can peg in over here. Got to push it a little bit and hope hope and pray that it stays. But you can fit it in there, or like I said, you can fit it in on his back. Um, probably most likely going to have him have it on his side, just because you want to have him being able to grab it easy if he needs to talk to somebody. And then if I wanted to, you could take this off, and you can plug this into the back like so and then you could have the ammo there on the back 
and then this on the side, like so. And now he can store everything. Well, not the hands, sorry. And then we'll put this helmet back on. Helmet's pretty cool, it says hang 10 on it. Well done there. I like it, I like it a lot. But yeah, I really like the update for the helmet too. It's more of a modern look, modern take. Same thing with the shirt. Let's get this out of here. I'm sure that's gonna fall out in any second. So will that, so let's get those out of there. But I like this kind of like, I don't know, more modern look for the shirt, for the upper torso. Um, same thing goes for the, I guess, knee protection for the, uh, the pants. A more modern look. A lot of people were like, oh, we just want OG 13. <laughs> Boring. Move on. Get, get a grip. Um, so that's why I think about that. Like I said, tattoos look good. I like the modern update. We need more modern updates. Enough with the, the 80s. Let the 80s die already, for God's sake, people. It, it had its moment in the sun. Let's, let's, let's move on a little bit. It's time to grow up. Time to get all grown up. You're going to put your big boy grown up pants on? Let's put our big boy... Grown's up pants on. Anyway, moving on again. We got a fist right here. And now he's going to punch someone's head off. Just like this. So I'm going to give him this. And then we'll, if, you, if you're going to do this, I mean, you might as well. I want to rock, rock. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, boy. I'm going to get copyright stricken. You know, you throw up the fist. You know. We need a screaming head, man. We really do. Let's put this pistol back in here. There we go. He's a score. He is a two thumbs up, way up. Two thumbs up, way up so far. Love this figure. Like I said, screaming head. Yes. Um, as far as articulation does go, I don't go through too much with classifieds figures because I don't do too many of their reviews. Or Actually, I have quite a bit to do as far as their reviews go, but I digress. Head goes up, head goes down, head tilt side to side. We're going to do some jive tear. Oh, we got gobbles up in here. Oh, arms go up, down, full 360 rotation in the arm. He does have a butterfly joint. It's very hindered, though. You can even see off the back, it doesn't really move too much, so it's kind of, eh, barely there. We do have a bicep swivel, double jointed elbow. We do have a forward crunch, back crunch, swivel at the waist. Uh, we kind of have a little bit of a tilt at the waist, just a little bit. And then we have these drop down. On this figure, it's, it's actually pretty fluid. But other, I don't, I just don't like Hasbro. I don't trust Hasbro doing drop down hips properly and they still have not mastered it. So I would just kind of prefer that they just step away from doing that or fix it to, to the point where, you know, all the figures kind of are, have that more SH figure arts feel where the drop downs don't feel as like, oh, is this the day I snap my leg off? Or is it not? You know, you don't even have that thought with the SH figure arts. Anyway, I digress. You can bring it down, kick it out. We can kick it forward. We can kick it back a little bit. Upper thigh swivel. We have a double jointed knee. And I would definitely recommend holding on to the upper hip, especially with these crappy drop down um, hips um, to get that all the way up because the knees are very tight. We do have pinless everywhere so with most hasbro pinless stuff the knees and the elbow joints have been a little bit tighter than normal uh, this is due to a little bit more of the i feel like a newer mold process that could be a thing or it's just the the sturdiness of the pinless tech the um Plastic also feels nice and thicker in the legs. Same thing goes for the elbows. So 
just just be careful when you're articulating your figure. You don't put too much stress pushing on this or you will get a snap. So just so you know, that's just how things work. Uh, we have a boot swivel, we have a pointy toey, pointy heely, ankle pivot, and two peg holes. The uh, newly acquired Jada Toys Phalong. Let me get his head right. There's Phalong. Let me get him on the other side because that looks freaking ridiculous. Okay. And we got a, a little Marvel Legend there. Okay. And we got a... Uh, we got a Dookie. He's taller than Dookie. And who else are we going to bring in here? Oh, okay. We'll bring in a NECA figure. There's the Phantom. Okay. And we'll do one more. Wrestling. There you go. There's Hulk Hogan. All right. We'll do one more. We'll do Army Builder. Actually, you know what? We'll do female figure. There's Blink. There you go. So, yeah. Two thumbs up. Love the accessories. I feel like this is what... Like with the extra hands, essentially, especially, excuse me, I should say, um, this is everything that this rock and roll needs. The belt fed ammo, the box fed ammo as a option, the extra hands, the helmet that's removable, the pistol, the rock and roll hand is just an added bonus. Just, yeah, go get this dude. Yeah, there's nothing else really to say. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Did you pick up rock and roll? Did you not? Are you planning to? Are you not planning to? But let me know in the comments. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to hit that uh, thumbs up button. We are almost at 5K. Uh, let's get to 5K. We're less than 100 away now. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I'll see you guys on the flip side.